Hi guys, welcome to The Strong Young Man. The world is full of all kinds of people with all kinds of problems, vulnerabilities, weaknesses, insecurities and secrets. People battle with these on a day-to-day -day basis and this can lead them to behave in strange ways. You could trigger aggression in people at any time simply by something that you said, no matter how innocent the interaction. Everyone is facing their own private battles and a person's aggressive response to you is a reflection of their inability to control their hot impulses. Never take the way that someone acts towards you as a personal attack. Don't make the mistake of believing that everything that a person does is for you or is against you. Not everything is about you. I understand that everyone is the centre of their own world, but in the same way that you're the centre of your own world, others are the centres of their own worlds. Most of the time, people are doing things for themselves, and when a person is attacking you, it's no different. They are attacking you because it pleases them. You must understand that your happiness means very little to other people. No one thinks or cares about you as much as you care about yourself. If you assume that everything someone says is directed at you, you have a self-centered understanding of people's behavior and an inflated sense of your own self-importance. Try to be less solipsistic when faced with someone's fury. Rather than looking inward, believing it's a personal attack, look outward when you trigger anger in someone. Try to understand what's going on in people's lives to cause them to act this way. If it pleases you, make up the reason. If it pleases you further, be happy about it. Schadenfreude. This will help you to not take it personally. It may even cause you to be sympathetic. The instruction of looking outward is actually in contradiction to the recommendation I offered around solving problems in episode 73. To solve your problems, you should always look inwards to evaluate what your contribution is to that problem. Understand that most of the time you will have contributed to a person's attack by what you said. It will often be because you've mentioned a problem, vulnerability, weakness, insecurity or secret that someone is silently battling with. If you don't care about this person, then there is minimal benefit to focusing on your role in their emotional tantrum. Just learn of their insecurity and determine how you can navigate around it better in the future. Alternatively, if this person is your enemy, probe on this insecurity to play with their emotions and completely unhinge them. Just remember that a person's emotional reaction is never your fault and you should bear no responsibility for it. Grown adults should be capable of regulating their own emotions and controlling their hot impulses. Whatever caused their aggression to bubble to the surface in your presence has deep roots long before your interaction. When you're the target of someone's emotional tantrum, remind yourself that this person's pain and trauma is bubbling to the surface in your presence. You become a convenient target for their frustrations and resentments that have accumulated over the years. For most people, this happens subconsciously, and this is why you should never take anything personally. Even if it's targeted at you personally, it's still not personal. Also understand that if you take it personally, you're placing your own happiness in someone else's hands. By taking a personal investment in their outburst, you subject yourself to feeling that person's pain. You enable the other person to dictate the terms of your happiness simply by what they say. It's very dangerous to give people this power. By never taking anything personally, you regain this power and control over your own happiness. You have a choice to not take things personally. Don't take anything personally and you will not suffer. You will avoid many upsets in your life. Your own anger, envy and jealousy for people will just disappear. There is a huge amount of freedom that comes from not taking anything personally. Here is a final thought that summarizes today's episode perfectly. It's Tremendous Game by Scott Orson Card. In the moment when I truly understand my enemy, understand him well enough to defeat him, then in that very moment, I also love him. I think it's impossible to really understand somebody, what they want, what they believe, and not love them the way they love themselves. And then, in that very moment, when I love them, I destroy them. Thanks for watching today's episode. In episode 116, I'll discuss how to assess risk. Subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when it drops. Catch you then.